Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Ball Tutorials, I'm going to GZ and in this video we are yet again doing a battle against the new Mega Monster, so that's going to be Hero Tank Asura Ringuru. So uh, with this battle, this is actually going to be with a slightly different team uh, than before, uh, not just with uh, the weapons that I have on, but also with one character's class. So here you're going to again see my characters equipped with the treasure hunting gear. So the treasure cap, the treasure coat, uh, both with the chest and the leggings. Uh, but here you're also going to see that my second character right here is going to be a demon swordsman. So um, the character I had on before was an archmage, but I actually have now uh, had that character uh, to level 55 and now want to actually level up a new character so this is the character that I chose and particularly this particular class because they can actually double as either a fighter or a uh, spellcaster so that's what uh, that's what I'll be doing with this particular class so uh, here what I'm going to have on my god hand over here I'm going to have uh, the Master Dragon Spear. So uh, you've seen me use this before. So this is going to do some very good damage to the enemy. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to get some good damage in with this particular character. Then here, this is going to be my Demon Swordsman. So they're going to be uh, using kind of the same basic uh, tactics as my uh, Archmage. So in this case, going to be using uh, Dragon Storm in order to do monkey damage to the enemy. So also with this particular character, with their ability, uh, when they sometimes take damage or when they um, actually uh, end a turn or start uh, a turn, they actually get some type of buff. So that's going to increase the damage of the spells that I do use. Then here on my ninja, I'm going to have on the Okunia sword. So this actually uh, has wind slash, which uh, does lower the defenses of the enemy. So I should be able to do that with this particular uh, mega monster. And then here with my high priest, I'm going to have on the holy wind staff. Uh, that's going to be used for pretty much uh, just healing and hopefully resurrecting enemies if I need to get have that done. But uh, yeah, with that said, if you want to know more about this team, you can look down in the video description down below. But uh, first thing I want to do is actually go and rest up. And pretty much go in with this battle. So uh, hopefully uh, things actually do go well. Um, we'll see what happens. I could be joined with by another uh, player. We'll see what happens. But uh, here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. So here I believe I'm going to be going into this solo. So um, this battle is probably going to take some time. Uh, but, uh, yeah, first going to start off with, uh, Protective Shield. And again, Protective Shield. See, my Demon Swordsman already has a Protective Shield. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use, uh, Dragon Power. And here, going to use Protective Shield again. Okay, got a defense boost on my God Hand there. So, uh, again, with this particular um, going solo battle, uh, I'm going to need to do uh, 230,000 damage uh, in order to actually get through this. So, here, going to go and attack with Wind Slash. So there I was able to lower defenses. So here what I'll do is, okay, good. I got that in. So here I'm going to go in and attack. So 5,600 damage. There, got a boost there. So here what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to use Stemmy. And here going to heal up with my High Priest. And nice Saint Echo. So now I actually have been joined by another player. 
but um, that actually should be okay. Ooh, okay. So, okay, that's actually boosting up uh, my power for my uh, Demon Swordsman, so that's actually pretty good there. So here, going to go ahead and attack. And good, lower defenses again. So uh, before I was doing uh, 5,300 or 600, let's see how much I do here. So now I'm doing 8,000 damage and got another boost too. So here going to go and attack. And again, joined by another player. So um, yeah, things should actually be okay with this particular battle. So, okay, good. My Demon Swordsman guarded that. There, got another boost. One thousand damage. Seven thousand damage there. So, okay, good, uh, share, so now everyone's fully healed. Okay, nice, got a guard. So here, going to go and attack. So I have never seen it actually shadow bound, so I'm not sure if it can actually shadow bound, but that was pretty good damage there. So some damage. So here, ooh, another share, so a nice heal there. Got defense boost on my ninja. Okay, can't do much there. And ooh, wow, that missed. But possibly here, uh, the tank could go down. We'll see what happens here. And then, yeah, down. So here I'm going to get in. Ooh, I got an ace hole. Nice. Okay, so that battle went actually pretty good. Uh, that was mainly because I had uh, two other players actually join in on the battle, but um, that actually was okay in the end. Um, here with this particular battle, uh, I wanted to see how well uh, this actually did in terms of damage. Uh, probably compared to Gira, uh, didn't do as well, much damage as I did with uh, my Gira based team. But uh, definitely, probably a big difference that would have made a big difference would be having an Archmage on rather than the Demon Swordsman uh, because I would actually have chances to cast multiple spells. But uh, also with uh, my Ninja, having on or using Wind Slash, uh, it doesn't actually do a whole lot of damage, but it does offer me lowering defenses to the enemy, so that's actually really good in terms of doing damage with uh, the Master Dragon Spear. But uh, yeah, all in all, uh, I'd say that uh, this is actually an okay team to use. Uh, probably if I had... Um, a different weapon on my ninja something that would do uh, better boggy damage like the um, the most recent boggy weapon that actually did come out I probably would have used that if I had it but um, also yeah besides that um, in terms of boggy based weapons uh, that's really all that I can actually do but um, yeah, so what I'll probably do next is for the next video, I will try using a Jabadia based team. That should actually be a little bit better uh, in terms of the damage that I do with both my ninja. Uh, well, definitely with my ninja, since uh, my ninja will have the same weapon as my god hand, so that's going to be the Sword of Kusanagi. So, uh, with that said, I'm going to actually end this video here, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.